In this video, we're going to teach you how to text and call for free using an old phone or tablet. Hey there, welcome back to MyAndyBuck.com. You know, many of you may or may not know, but the cell phone providers have now started phasing out their um, their support of 3G phones. So that means all those phones, those all those smartphones that we had years ago, the the iPhones, the the Droid X, the um, uh, any of the the Note uh, one, two, and three from Samsung, the uh, Samsung Galaxy. Uh, some of the Samsung Galaxies, uh, those phones are actually being phased out, not because they're bad or you can't do anything with them anymore, but because the networks are moving to 4G only and they're actually moving to 5G service. So if they're going to have 4G and 5G, they don't want to support 3G also because it's too expensive for them. Uh, unfortunately, what that means is there's an awful lot of phones out there that are really good, um, like miniature tablets that you could still use, such as this Note 3 that I have in my hand. It's still a phenomenal uh, Android phone. In fact, uh, one of the best Android phones that they've ever produced, yet it renders it nearly useless because you can't do anything with it as far as uh, being able to set it up for phone calls. So even if you have a SIM card and you slide it into a 3G phone, uh, when you go to activate it or when you go to turn it on, it'll say this, this product is no longer supported. Now, you may still have a 3G phone right now uh, in your possession that may be working just fine, and that's great because they're going to grandfather those in, but if you ever uh, stop using that for service, they will not reactivate that phone. So just a word of caution to you folks out there that have 3G phones, and I anticipate probably by the end of this year or definitely by the end of next, that phone will be obsolete and you'll have to get a 4G-enabled phone, um, and you'll probably want to look at 5G capabilities also. So, without further ado, I'd like to kind of go into why I am doing this video. Just because you can't make a phone call on a network doesn't mean that your phone cannot make phone calls. There's a lot of voice over IP, VOIP, companies out there that will allow you to uh, make voices over Wi-Fi. And what's cool about it is there's one that I'm going to show you how to connect to at the end of this video. After we get the phone all set up, I'm going to show you how to connect to this service. And this service actually works over voice over IP. And for a very small fee, you can actually use Sprint's network to uh, make phone calls through it also. So the um, what we can do is we can set up our phones to be able to make phone calls over Wi-Fi networks. And this product that I'm going to teach you about at the end is actually going to show you how to make texts also out of the same app and it's it's really phenomenal for those of you who don't want to have any cell phone bill or have an old phone that they just want to enable for wi-fi uh say your kids are spending the night someplace and and they have wi-fi at that house you can give them this phone and they'll be able to make phone calls over that wi-fi so without further ado uh, i'm going to teach you how to do that all right so here we have a note 3 uh, by samsung uh, this was a great phone it has the uh, capability of being able to take notes uh, by with using the S Pen. And uh, what I've done is I went ahead and I restarted this uh, this phone. So I went ahead and restarted it uh, to make sure that, you know, it was it was totally rebooted. It's, it's clear. There's nothing in there. Uh, it's just like a brand new phone. And it's going to take us through the setup wizard. So we're just going to go through the setup wizard real quick. You want to connect to your Wi-Fi, uh, whatever your Wi-Fi password happens to be. I've already put in my password here. Um, but uh, whatever your password is, just go ahead and connect to your Wi-Fi. And we're going to hit Next. And this is your email setup. Of course, you can set all this up if you'd like. But I'm going to skip it for now because we're just showing how to make uh, voice over IP calls. Um, and it's going to check the connection. They're going to check for updates, seeing if there's a software update. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hit Skip here. Uh, and we're checking the info on the phone. Now this is where you want to sign in with your Google account. Um, so it's going to say add a phone number. If you'd like you can uh, add this number's uh, account so I'm not going to add anything to that and just skip it um, and I'm going to hit I agree. Now when I first booted up this phone which I didn't show you because I was skipping uh, right along one of the things it'll say right away is no, no SIM card inserted, no phone uh, abilities. And that makes total sense because, um, you know, you don't have a SIM card in it and it can't be activated anyway. So you just go ahead and hit skip on that. Uh, so the Android device, or frankly the iPhone, will just kind of assume that you're only using this as a, um, as a tablet, okay? So then we're going to hit next. Oops, I don't want to add a credit card. Um, 
I just want to, uh, you can remind me later, how about that? We're going to go ahead and let this thing boot up. All right. Got to go over your Google policies here. Just check them all and hit next. Um, we're going to have the, um, everything is set up there. And I'm going to skip setting up my Samsung account too. Um, So we're just going to get it, go ahead and get it started. Now we're just going to boot up to the startup page. Um, it's going to show me how to do some things, obviously, because it wants me to know. Um, okay, don't show again. Okay. So now we're set up to just the beginning page. This is the home screen of the um, Note or any Android phone you have. And you'll notice here, uh, if you look at the top here, there is no, uh, there's Wi-Fi, but there's no uh, phone there at all. Okay. Uh, there's no phone there at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the Play Store. Uh, we're going to go into the Google Play Store, and we're going to choose um, the Play Store. There it is. So we're going to go into the Play Store, and you'll want to click on uh, Apps and Games, or Apps, and you're going to ch choose the search and you're going to search for text now okay you should it's text now t-e-x-t-n-o-w and you'll see it's the first thing that comes up there's a little purple one that says text now okay so we're going to choose on text now and we're going to install that app um, it's you have to accept the permissions now uh, as with any free service there are ads involved in this but i think the good far outweighs the bad uh, this is a great service to be able to have on your phone, especially, like I say, uh, if you have an old iPhone or an old uh, Samsung phone, TextNow is available at the uh, Apple Store also. Uh, it works the same way. You just have to download the app. But um, it's a great feature to have, like I say, especially if you have an old phone laying around and you want your kids to go to a friend's house and they happen to have a um, Wi-Fi connection there. Just make sure your kid can get on the Wi-Fi. Make sure they can text you a couple times, and then, you know, if you if they need help or something like that, they've got that availability, and you don't have to add a line. I wish this would have been available when my kids were younger, because it would have been a lot less expensive than it is now. Um, so it's installing the Text Free, or the Text Now app. Once again, this is, a, it's a free texting and calling app. So um, you can call and text for free. We get this downloaded. We'll go ahead and open it up. So while we're sitting here waiting for this to download, uh, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe and uh, and also uh, tag the little bell over there so you get notified whenever I have new videos up. Not only do I do how-to videos, but I also do some videos that are concerning um, life skills and motivation. So if you're having any trouble with depression or anything like that, it's a great place to go and just get some uh, some nice motivation. So please uh, subscribe and uh, click those notifications for me and, and share this off with your friends. I'd appreciate that. Um, so now if you hit open on the app, you'll see text now. It'll start uh, opening up there. Um, text now can't run until we update the Google Play services. Okay, so we'll accept that real quick. These are the kind of things you have to go through in the beginning. So here it says, get a free local number. Okay, get a free local phone number and you can sign up or you can log in. So I'm just going to hit sign up and uh, I'm going to continue with my Google account uh, just because I've already signed into that and we already know that that's on there. We're going to sign in with Google and it's going to have me uh, choose my Google account. And. Some reason it's asking me again. All right. So now it lets you choose your phone number. You can choose which phone number you want. It automatically goes to an area code. Um, and you choose which one of these phone numbers you want. Uh, it chooses, like I say, your area code. 513 is where I live. I live in uh, south uh, southwestern Ohio. So 513 is, is my area code. So I'm just going to pick this first one right here. Uh, just because, you know, I'm just doing it for demo purposes, but you may have a number that you like yourself, and you can change the area code if you want to change the area code to be a different one. 
So I'm going to hit continue on here just because I'm going to choose the first one they're offering. And click right here to send a new message. Okay. Now I'm going to send a message to um, a my wife, actually. And uh, I'm not going to show her phone number on here, obviously, because I don't want you guys calling her. But... Um, Okay, and I'm going to say, hi, Shelly. All righty, and we're just going to hit send. It works just like a regular app. Okay, so now we're going to do, make a phone call to my wife. And you'll see that you can just pull up the dialer. Uh, it's really easy. You just hit the, hit the dial button, and you can pull up the dialer there. You've got contacts over in the corner. Uh, where you can pull up contacts and you can pull up uh, previous calls, your recent history. So I'm going to hit the contacts there and I'm going to call my wife and um, put her on speakerphone here for you. Hello? 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 Is, are you there? I'm here. Great. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you. Good. Good. Say hi to everybody out on YouTube. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> yeah, this is not my wife down here at the bottom. This is one of those ads I was talking about that just keeps kind of going through here. But as you can tell, the Wi-Fi call is, is really clear. It's really good. Um, you know, and it's just as good as any cell service as long as you have good Wi-Fi. So um, I'm going to say goodbye to my wife. Hey, thanks for picking up, sweetie. Hey, you're welcome. I'll talk to you soon. All righty. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Just... And you just hit the red button to hang up. And that's really all there is to it, ladies and gentlemen. It's a really easy um, product. It's a really easy way to have a phone uh, that's always there. As you can see, there are ads that pop up. They're kind of annoying, but, you know, for free, it doesn't cost you anything. Uh, it works out, uh, works out really, really well. Thank you guys for stopping in and uh, taking a look at how to get free phone calls on your old phone. And, of course, the newer your phone is, the faster it's going to be and the better it's going to be. This is a Note 3. It's been around for quite a while, and it's seen a lot of days. It's been through um, through three of us, actually. So um, thank you for stopping in. It's been a pleasure, and I uh, look forward to seeing you later. Please don't uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, and ring the notification bell. Talk to you later.